ladies hi welcome to my channel my name is simon Rand, and you're watching simon Rand tarot today i actually wasn't going to do a reading but since i'm already at my tarot desk because i was doing um i was doing same day readings i'm going to do um a two car a two pile reading today and it's going to be what would happen if you hit your person up right now so we're going to get um two car this part gonna be a little quick 10 minute john i'm like tired what, what would happen if pile number two hit their person up right now what would happen if pile number two hit their person up right now what would happen if pile number two hit their person up right now because i'm just like i don't know i'm tired yo and i'm lonely i'm tired and lonely yo tired and lonely but I'm gonna give you a couple seconds while I light my candles Alright, baby, so let's see what we got going on. So you have commitment. So if you were to hit this person up right now, y'all getting cuffed. So this is probably like a petty argument. Like somebody here, y'all probably arguing with like y'all arguing with whoever y'all asking about or something like that, or y'all just not talking, like for whatever reason. And maybe it's like a thing, or it could be one of them things like you know how you be texting somebody new and it's like they be texting you and it's like you don't you like how am I say this? How am I say this, baby? It's like, okay, ooh, this is, a, okay, okay. It's like, you know how, like, you meet somebody new and, like, you don't want to text them too much because you don't want to come off thirsty? So, and then they feel the same way. Like, they don't want to text you too much because they don't want to come off, they don't want to come off thirsty. So, y'all just end up not talking to each other at all because it's like, yo, like, you get what I'm saying? It's like, I don't want to be the one that's thirsty or coming off chasing and shit like that. So, you play with me, so I'm going to play with you. It's like giving that type of energy. So, it's either y'all in an argument for some of you guys or or for the other way around it's like y'all just being like y'all the other one don't want to seem like they want the other one too much so they trying to like make it seem like they busy or make it seem like they really not worried about that person or whatever or whatever they got going on they just trying to make it seem they just trying to um they just trying to make it seem like you know that they, they chilling like they not phased or whatever and that you're trying to do the same thing but like if y'all were to get 
past that and actually like communicate with each other, it would end up being a committed, full committed relationship or whatever y'all want it to be. So whatever commitment means to you. So whether that means just going on more dates, whether that means hanging out, whether that means talking more or whatever it, it would be, it would be more interaction between you two. But honestly, for me, I'm feeling like it will lead to a full blown committed relationship if you was to hit this person right, if you were to hit this person up right now. And I think you should. Well, like what, what type of energy would they be giving? So you have, okay, so you have tact. So this person is a little bit nervous. So this person, this little, this person right now, they're a little bit nervous and stuff like that. So the conversation might be a little bit awkward. The conversation might be a little bit awkward first because they're nervous or you're nervous. Both of y'all kind of nervous and y'all really don't know how to talk to each other. So it's kind of like walking on eggshells and shit like that. But this is like, this is like cute. Like this is giving cute, like middle school, high school love. Like you guys give each other butterflies and shit like that. So you guys would be like, you know, kind of tiptoeing about the, um, around, tiptoeing about the situation how and then you have but you have needs and wants so with the needs and wants um with the needs with the needs and wants um car i'm seeing that this person will ask you out they will ask you out. they're like yo you what you trying to do like you trying to go on a date like you trying to go to the movies like you trying to get back and chill so i feel like you guys to start dating i think that if you reached out to this person right now they will reach back out to you and you guys would definitely be um talking right now you got you definitely be interacting right now you guys actually be talking right now you guys actually be interacting right now and all that you know what i'm saying and this person will commit to you they're gonna lock it down they're gonna tie you up <laughs> they're gonna tie you up you know what i'm saying like so it's like i heard i seen this meme um the other day and it was like um we link one time and if i like it we go together like it's feeling it's giving that energy like if we go on one day you my way from you my man so what is going to happen with the relationship you give relationship a chance so i think i feel like we should reach out to this person i feel like you should reach out for this out to this person because what what spirit is saying is this is going to end into this is going to end in a great partnership and if you guys are like in a fight and you know who this is like spirit is saying go ahead and reach out to them because whatever the fuck y'all fighting over is petty anyway so work on your partnership okay but you know for the rest of you guys that's y'all not in a relationship yet i think that you should definitely reach out to this person and give it a chance like i know that this culture says like don't text this person don't text too much don't call too much but if you like somebody like you gotta let them know that you like them because if they don't know you like them and you don't know if they like you how y'all ever supposed to get anywhere you get what i'm saying and like who's who's really calling you thirsty them because what's gonna happen they either not gonna fuck with you or they're gonna fuck with you like you know what i'm saying honestly i'm gonna tell y'all this i had more boyfriends when i was thirsty <laughs> than when i was when i was acting like oh when i was playing the texting games and usually those end in like okay well if she not texting me i'm not texting her so it's like a waste you get what i'm saying so go ahead and reach out to your person okay pile number one okay pile number two let's see what would happen if you reached out to your person You have open heartness. So what would happen if you reached out to your person right now? I feel like they will open up to you. I feel like you guys will get to know each other more. I feel like they have so much they want to say to you. I feel like this person really just enjoys your company, enjoys talking to you. They feel like they have, they feel like you guys have a lot in common. They feel like you guys will have more in common if you guys, you know, had the opportunity to really sit and talk and, and be real with each other and be open with each other and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? So I say I like to say this. I say I like to, I say I like to say this, baby. I feel as though... I feel as though this person is waiting for you to reach out to them. Like they're waiting for you to reach out to them because they have so much they want to say, so much they want to tell you. They have so much they want to say, so much they want to tell you. So much like it's just it's just so much they want to say and so much to tell you. So much they want to say and so much they want to tell you and it's like they don't really know like where to start. But if you guys, if you reach out to them, I feel like you guys are going to have a bomb conversation. You guys are going to talk about your childhood. You guys are going to talk about your past relationships. You guys are going to talk about so much because you guys actually do have a lot in common. You didn't, you didn't, you might not have thought you did, but you guys actually do have a lot in common. And, um, y'all should, you should definitely reach out to this person and speak to this person. This person is basically waiting for you to speak to them. Damn it. I got this fucking, um wax going on the floor that's what i get i need to get a wax plate i don't know why i just got it up there like that because i'm a clown and that's what clowns do it sounds hard wax on the floor and i don't know how i'm gonna get that up i didn't even know that was happening back there yeah 
I'm definitely not getting my deposit back for this apartment. I'll be fucking this joint up. <laughs> I'll be fucking this joint up, man. I'm telling you, I'll be fucking this joint up. I don't know why, though, how. But I want it to bleed. I like it to bleed on the um, desk. Anyways, like I was saying, um, anyways, like I was saying, so yeah, this person is definitely going to, um, they're going to open up to you. They're going to want to tell you more about their life and they're going to want to know more about your life and what the type of stuff that you're into and the stuff that you got going on in your life. They're extremely interested in you if you don't know already. You have ownership. So what's going to happen with that is going to start to build on a relationship. You guys are going to start to build on a relationship. And I feel like, of course you would, because if you're talking to somebody every day and you guys are sharing like personal, um, and you guys are sharing like, and you guys are sharing like personal business about you and your family and the things that you want to do and the things that make you happy. It's only, it's only, it's only but so much you can do that before you start to, it's only but so much you could, it's only so much you could do that before you start to fall in love with somebody, before you start to build a bond with somebody, before you start to, you know, really, um, become super interested in somebody. You get what I'm saying? So I say a lot to say this, this is going to lead to you guys building either a relationship or some type of friendship or, um, some type of bond, definitely some type of bond. You have independence. You guys are going to be thinking about each other all day. This person's this person's literally been waiting. This person's literally been admiring you from afar. They've been admiring you from afar. So they've been watching your social media. They've been asking people about you, looking up your name on the internet and shit like that. They just want to know everything about you. Like they they know what they know, but they want they want you to tell them more. They this person wants to pick your brain. They want to know like what's going on inside your pretty little head, inside your handsome little head. They want to get to know you more in depth. So that's what they're going to try to do. So next time you see them, or if you was to hit them up right now, they're going to be asking you a whole bunch of questions. So how is this relationship going to turn out? You have the past life relationship. So it's kind of feels like this person, this, this, I feel like the reason why this person is so comfortable with you, because you probably did know them in a the past life. But remember, sometimes that motherfucker could have been somebody that you ain't really like in a past life. But either way, this, uh, this soul, their soul recognizes yours. So that's why they feel so comfortable telling you everything. But I feel like this is going to end up being a relationship. This person is going to end up falling in love with you. And you're at first, it's going to take you a little bit of time to fall. It's going to take you a little bit of time to fall, but eventually you're going to end up falling in love with this person as well. Okay. But with that being said, that is your reading, babe. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in getting a personal reading and information description box below, if you're interested in my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye.